Uh, biggest thing I changed was just my training camp, uh, training with uh, different level jiu-jitsu instructors, uh, training Robert Drysdale, Scott Beery, Marcelo Mafra. These are all like black belts that are Abu Dhabi champions or Pan American and world, world game champions. So for me, you know, trying to elevate my game in jiu-jitsu and trying to elevate my game in wrestling was very important. And then working on my striking, um, worked in Kurt Pellegrino's gym, trained with a couple of his boxing coaches. Uh, biggest thing was just working on my wrestling and uh, cleaning up my boxing and making my job a little bit stronger, keep my chin down and just being smart. I always did envision myself fighting Torres for a title, but I'm looking at it the same way. You know, it's the biggest fight uh, I could ask for, most notable opponent. And, you know, I'm ready. So training's been going good. I got this call right after the, uh, the Yaya fight. So I've been doing a hard training camp all the way through Yaya, took a little break and now and then uh, and then for Miguel. So I've been training hard now for a while. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really uh, prepared for this fight. And I just can't wait to get in there. Uh, Benavides is a tough opponent. You know, he's, he's real fast, real quick, very strong, um, doesn't get tired. Uh, he's had, he has all the all the, the makings of a, of a very tough opponent. Um, I can't underestimate him. Uh, he's got knockout power on his hands from his last fight. We've seen that, and uh, he has tough endurance. You know, he's, he's hard to put away. So for me, the biggest thing I just got to be smart, uh, pick my times when to attack, and when I attack, make him make it count. Try to hurt him. Of course, I see myself winning. Um, you know, that's all I can see right now is uh, is me getting my hand raised and beating him. Of course, I'd like to finish him, but you know, if I was a betting man, I'd I'd, I'd take me getting a decision. You know, to just. Uh, I think I'm faster, and uh, I'm going to close the distance a lot easier than he thinks. And uh, I think I can take him down, and uh, I'm not going to be submitted by him. So, you know, I think it's going to be – I think it's going to go like that, and it's going to be a good fight. We're going to both, you know, take our licks, and we're going to fight for every inch. But uh, I definitely think I'm going to come out on top, just uh, just a little more dominant. I mean, everybody has weaknesses. Um, I think, you know, the biggest thing is just use my reach advantage, and uh, and if we get into a scramble, to try to catch him with a submission. Um, my Jiu-Jitsu game is, un is unlike anybody else's on the ground. People say the guard is dead, but my guard's very active. Uh, I have a very dangerous guard from the bottom, so I'm sure he's going to try to test it out. You definitely have to be fast with Miguel to get it within that reach. So, yeah, I definitely think that's going to that's gonna be a factor. That's one of the things that, that we're looking at. Um, for me, for every opponent, I feel like I'm faster than. So that's something I go in uh, trying to do every time. So, yeah, I'm going to use my speed to close the distance, and, uh, you know, he's not going to. I'm not going to know what hit him by the time I get in there. Are you going to just use a more calmer and smarter Miguel? Um, I still I still have that crazy in me, so I could be crazy when I have to be, but it's going to be more calculated and more calm. I'm just preparing myself for the best Miguel Torres just because he lost, and I know how I felt after I lost to Dominic Cruz and came in against Yaya. I'd never felt more focused and inspired and ready to fight, so I'm expecting the same thing uh, from Miguel, you know, for him to e even be a better fighter than he would have been if he would have beat Brian Bowles. So, you know, I'm just expecting a, a tough Miguel, and, you know, anything else – you know, is going to be is going to be good, but I'm expecting the best Miguel, and uh, it's going to make the win that much sweeter. No, I beat the best uh, Miguel Torres there was.